Mike B here for Hollywood Virtual Audio. Recently, a new subscriber asked that I put together something showing how articulations might be swapped in the brand new Zine player. I was right in the middle of that when I came across this glitch that some of you may find really problematic. So let me share that with you now. I've only seen it happen in instances of the Zine player where you're poly mapping or poly switching. You've closed the session for the night, you come back the next day, you fire it up, and you get this. Hear how faint that is? Don't adjust your volume. I'm going to do that for you in a moment. There are notes we're not hearing, and the ones we are hearing are much too soft. So naturally, I reached for the Zine player to figure out what had gone wrong. And as soon as I touch it to open it, it's not that loud, but it's considerably louder. This is how it should sound. I've been able to replicate this twice, both in Nuendo and Logic. And of course, if it happens in Nuendo, it's happening in Cubase. And if you're thinking it's not that big a deal, well, of course, I have a few tracks here and it's easy to spot. But what if you've got 50 tracks? With that many tracks, if you're lucky, you'll hear it. You may even realize it's brass. And you get in there and fix it. What about 100 tracks? Now you may not hear it. And if you do, you may not know what the problem is. So now you've got to chase everything. Now you're on the hunt, wasting time. And if it's 500 tracks or so, you probably won't hear it at all. God forbid it's the secret sauce that gives your track that shine, and you don't even know it's missing. I realize that many of you have been struggling to figure these things out, like how to get this pie from this. That video on poly mapping, key switching, expression maps, or articulation sets is coming very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, like the video. See you next time.